Okay, everyone, today is uh, January 21st, 2015. I thought I'd do a quick video on uh, just uh, scanning through some of the energy stock that I'm watching and kind of show you some of the setup or some of the pattern that I'm watching. So maybe, uh, you know, you could find some, uh, uh, maybe it's worthwhile for you to follow. So, but uh, first of all, let's take a look at crude oil. Here's a crude oil future. Uh, essentially, we uh, want to look at this uh, long-term chart uh, once before. And we see that there's some confluence between 44 and 45. And uh, recently, the low was uh, somewhere around 44.20. Okay. So essentially, it's the uh, retracement of 78.6. And then we also got an extension of 618. Okay, so and also you got a trend line up here, so it kind of give you a little confluence somewhere around there at 44, 45 area, you know, that, somewhere in that ballpark number. Not saying that it will hold, but that's basically it just kind of give you some idea. There's a lot of, you know, if you look at a different type of a trader looking at these chart in a different way, then you kind of see that inflection point that it might bring a lot of these traders in to uh, sort of react, right? I mean, uh, that's basically what we want is the inflection point where this price action going to occur. Okay, so that's crude oil. So and then you say, you know, why in the heck are you watching energy stock, you know, when the crude oil is still, you know, near the bottom here, you know, or, or might not even found the bottom. Well, the thing is, it's the same thing as we were looking at gold, uh, you know, about a month and a half ago. And, you know, you always look at the producer, okay? It's just like on the gold, we look at the miner. The miner moved before the commodity moved, okay? All right, so it's the same thing. We're looking at the energy stock, you know, right before maybe a... Uh, near-term bottom right, uh, occur in the cool oil, whatever it may be, we really don't know. I mean, I don't know. I don't have a crystal ball. So I'm basically just looking at the price action, right? And we just, uh, you know, as a trader, we just trade based on price action, and, and we make our best, uh, you know, uh, probability, uh, you know, probabilistic uh, guess and uh, of uh, what it might occur, right? So let's uh, first start off with uh, Diamondback. We uh, talked about Diamondback a while back, uh, a couple of times, and I'd even tweet it out. You know, so basically you look at this, uh, you know, this little pattern here, so, so like a, uh, uh, you could call this a, uh, you know, cup and handle or something you might want to call this as a, uh, you know, ascending triangle. Right, but whatever it is, it's basically we're breaking about this uh, level somewhere around 63. And it broke that and came back down, right, and it kind of tested us today, got a big move. So essentially, you know, right now it seems like it's coming up to the 7130 level and maybe try to test this. Because you also note that, uh, you know, it's broke this trend line here as well. So it got a little price action here and kind of, you know, squeezing to this ascending triangle. So if you want to do a major move, and this major move is probably get you up uh, maybe somewhere up here. So... Okay, so let's uh, do this, uh, just do a quick major move here. Right, okay, so so basically it's somewhere around 71.84, so about 72. So it's kind of in confluence with this, uh, you know, some of these pivot high here. Right? Okay, so that's uh, Diamondback. The next one is uh, Continental Resources. Again, we're basically looking at the break on here. Right, right now you can see that it kind of, uh, you know, broke this uh, baseline here. Once again, you know, essentially we're looking at this, and some people could call this as a double bottom, you know, basically you basically have a little bit of a, you know, a double bottom with a, with a higher low. But, you know, the, uh, ascending triangle, cup and handle, you know, essentially we're looking for this thing, if it break, continue to move, maybe it get up here to somewhere around this 51 level, you know, to fill this gap. Okay. And then the next one is Ch Sanchez Energy. Once again, you see this similar pattern, right? You know, so a little more like a cup and handle. So we're looking for a break above this 1060 and get back up here, maybe fill this gap, right? So you can see this trend line here, kind of broke this trend line over here, right? Then the next one is uh, Bill Barrick, uh, so BB, uh, BBG. And again, you know, we're waiting for this thing to come up. Okay, to come up to the, this uh, pivot point here to uh, break above this uh, 1198. But if you want to do a little quick trade, you could also do a little bit of a intraday uh, quick trade here, you know, on this 1090, and then just play it up here to this 1190 or $12 level. You know, so you can see that there's a you know nice little uh, little pattern that you could be uh, trading off also. Right? You know, so you know you got a little breakout pivot. Yeah, you, know, you know, so it's kind of, you know, trending up, uh, making a higher low. So that's one way to play these also. So it all depends on how aggressive you are. Okay, so, but basically, you know, this might be a, a you know, worthwhile watching, uh, see how it break this pivot and maybe get back up at this level here, uh, you know, the 14 and 16 level. 
Then next one is Pioneer Natural Resources. Again, you know, look at the similar pattern that we've been looking at. Right, you know, so basically looking at this break into is this 154.50 somewhere around there, 154.40, right, and then maybe possibly play it back up here at this level here. Okay, and here's uh, Devon Energy. Also, we got this little uh, sort of like a uh, you know cup and handle, right? Okay, so uh, again we're looking at the break of 62 and maybe possibly playing back up here to this pivot high. Okay, if it break, and you see there's a trend line down here. So if it break this cup and handle uh, baseline, essentially it's also breaking this trend line. Okay. Then uh, surprisingly enough, BP, BP also shows some, uh, you know, a similar type of pattern. As a matter of fact, it's more of a double bottom pattern, right? You know, so, and here's this little pivot, so we're basically playing this little W. So you just kind of watch this 39.42. And then you could do a major move and play it back up here to somewhere around this uh, 44. Okay. And then here's uh, you know CXO, Kacho. I don't know, maybe that's how you put on this. But anyway, you know CXO, and again, you know it's kind of poking out, right? You know, it came back down and retested, and right now it seems to be proceeding to fill this gap. Okay, so maybe it uh, got a little bit more leg and might get up to uh, this uh, 121, some uh, you know somewhere around there. Then we got PBR, basically this uh, you know Brazilian, uh, I believe that's Brazilian. Yeah, it is uh, petroleum. Yeah, there was some scandal about this uh, company you know a while back. Uh, they were reporting that on the news. But in any way, you look at this, you know, it seems to be forming a little bit of a base also. You know, maybe you look at this like a uh, sort of uh, a uh, double bottom here, right? You know, if we uh, take a look at here, uh, it seems like a little double bottom. Again, you know, so basically playing a break off this 781. But if you want to be a little bit aggressive, you could go in on the intraday and then you play this breakout, right? So you could, uh, you know, do this uh, this breakout here. Essentially, you got this little, you know, ascending triangle and then maybe you know, play it up to uh, this particular level 781, okay, and then you could uh, switch over and possibly play it like a, uh, you know, double bottom here, okay, so, uh, uh, you know, and just to uh, give you a little uh, bit of a supportive uh, um, clue, maybe uh, this thing could be moving up because uh, here's the ETF on the uh, Brazil uh, uh, stock ETF, and you can see that, uh, you know, you can look at this as a little bit of a, you know, ascending triangle, a double bottom, same thing, you know, cup and handle, 37.20, right, do a major move and maybe get up to uh, fill this gap here, right, so somewhere around this uh, 41. So that's a quick scan on some of the energy stock. Hopefully you can find some of these, might be worthwhile for you to keep an eye on. So uh, good luck tomorrow at CCB. So it's certainly going to be some uh, wild, uh, possibly while uh, price moves, so uh, good luck to you.